Sunday, July 22nd, Bahamas Harvest Church honors Dr. Leon Higgs as one of our Lignum Award recipients. Good morning, Bahamas Harvest Church. My name is Dr. Leon Higgs, and I am the second president of the College of the Bahamas, now the University of the Bahamas. First, let me say thank you to you, the members of this congregation, and also to Pastor Mario and Erica Moxie. When I was born, the story is told that um, for the first several days, I did not eat anything. And of course, um, if a baby's not eating, of eventually death comes. So they sent for the midwife who came from Black Point, came across Creek to Bl from Black Point, and uh, the midwife used her thumb and set my palate. We were extremely happy children, extremely poor, but happy. You know, the, the interesting thing about that is we did not realize that we were poor because um, there was nothing to compare uh, anything to. I got my first pair of shoes for school when I was 14. As a matter of fact, that is the reason why my book is entitled Barefoot to Boardroom. When Sarlington Butler came to Kemp's Bay, I was not doing very well in, in school, but he took an interest in me, but he made an indelible impression on me. So I started teaching at 14. That's when I started wearing shoes to school. I taught for two years, then came to Nassau. So my dad said to me, look, um, you have two choices. You can go with me on a construction or you could, I can get your bicycle and a cart and you can go to the schools and sell lunch during the day to school children. Now, I wasn't going on a construction site because I have problems with height and I couldn't see myself selling lunch to school children as a career. For me, I just felt that I wanted an education. Um, nobody in my family had gone to college. So I went to Oakwood Academy for a year, finished high school, and then applied to Union College in Lincoln, Nebraska. I said, hey, I've got my high school diploma, can I come now? They said, you can come. The problem was, I didn't have any money to go. And a part of my um, reason why I wrote my book and I said specifically in the book and to young people and even older people, if you want it badly enough and you're prepared to go for it, um, the sky is the limit. I came home after selling books that summer and I didn't know where the money was coming from. I just knew I was going. Three days before I was about, was supposed to leave Nassau, I got a call from somebody of the, from the Ministry of Education telling me that I should go to the Ministry of Education and sign the bond contract. Three days later, I was on my way to Lincoln, Nebraska, where I studied um, business education. In 1975, I was among the founding faculty members of the College of the Bahamas. And I, I should point out that I was the first faculty member from the College of the Bahamas, now the University of the Bahamas, to actually got a staff development. And they allowed me to go with full salary to, to do the doctorate degree came back and was appointed chairman of the um, business department at the College of the Bahamas. And I went to the United States for 13 and a half years. I saw an announcement advertising for a president of the College of the Bahamas. I applied, interviewed for the position, and was offered the job. The foundation, the foundation for the NAV University of the Bahamas was laid during my tenure at the College of the Bahamas. 
God has blessed me with four sharp sons. They're doing well. They're making their contribution. So really, um, I believe that my greatest accomplishment uh, was um, being able to successfully raise four wonderful sons. I would like to say a hearty thank you to Pastor Mario and Mrs. Moxie and you the members of Bahamas Harvest Ministries Church for honoring me today. Join us for this experience as we honor Dr. Higgs Sunday, July 22nd at our West Campus, JFK Drive, the Old Gallery of Cinemas at 11 a.m. Dr. Leon Higgs.